Well, we started off the festival as ID Fest prior to Diver Film Festival, so we ran that for three years. Establish a bit of a base and there's obviously a desire for some sort of festival in Derby. And um, yeah, we just thought, well, let's call it Derby Film Festival, let's own it, let's make it about the city, let's make it as part of the city rather than more thematic. So uh, we moved it over and we've just been growing audiences. I think people have come to expect um, high quality previews at festivals, come to expect quality guests uh, and quality retrospective programmes and we've in, in unique, interesting uh, events, I think. So we've been delivering on those last few years and so maybe it's just years of, of delivering well and uh, as, as training them to expect good quality from Dive Film Festival. We host format here for every, every two years and we try to tie in with the format theme each every two years and it felt perfect for this year it's a broad enough topic that you can do what you want with it in a festival but you can also really tie it into the existing exhibitions that are running in the building so you can see you can see the theme running through the building and into the, onto the screens as well ever since we started doing festivals here we've always had some sort of representation of david lynch so in previous years we've shown i think last year we showed wild at heart in previous years we've shown straight story we've shown um, a blue velvet on previous years so it's always been one of those little touch to you know, touchstone directors that we always end up going to and thinking, oh, that will fit perfectly in this festival. And, and this year we just thought, I want to do some of those ones where they're harder to fit in. So Inland Empire, really difficult to find a theme that that one would fit in because it's such a bonkers movie. Um, so the theme would be David Lynch. So that was wonderful. And then seven Dipity kicked in and we had this new documentary that was coming out, David Lynch, The Art Life, which shows his working methods around how he considers himself an artist and how he looks, the way he lives his life and how he draws his inspiration, particularly around his painting. We were, all, we were all saddened to hear the news of John Hurt's passing earlier this year. And John's, Sir John was always a great um, supporter of Derby and a great supporter of Quad, one of our patrons. And he'd been to the festival in 2014 as a guest. And he was also at, uh, he also comes to Quad previously as a guest. So we had a good relationship with him and we wanted to um, commemorate that in some way. So we thought, well, okay, let's do, let's do a tribute event. Um, since we've opened, we've always had Cinema One, Cinema Two, and the, and the box. Um, from, from, from the 7th of May onwards, we'll have Sir John Hurt Cinema and Cinema Two. So um, it's going to be great to rename the, to rename the cinema after him and to have a permanent um, memory of his connection to Quad and his connection to Derby.